What's up guys? It's late day today. It's also Christmas Eve Eve, if that's a thing. And yeah, I'm just in the gym, gonna set up the weights a little bit, get the place neatened up a little bit because right now it's not in its best condition. It's also kind of like a little not living room, but like it's like a kind of chill room as well, so there's always kind of mess in here, so I clean that up a little bit. Uh, Max and Luke are going to be training with me again, doing squats and everything, doing legs obviously. And yeah, that's what's happening, that'll be in a couple of hours, just going to have some breakfast as well. I've been eyeing up a fry up in the kitchen, so I'm going to get the bacon up, going to get the bacon out, the Hanukkah bacon. And yeah, that's going to be my breakfast probably. Wearing full black today, I've got the black Gymshark top, uh, these black and blue shorts from, I can't remember where they're from, but they're pretty good actually, I think they're like ref shorts, and just on the bottom there I've got the hex leggings from Gymshark again, which is pretty cool because they actually mit they match the shorts, like, all sort of, it's a slightly different way, but still pretty cool, and then my very in need of a clean fly knit, so the bottom there, with some questionable socks, I'm not sure if that looks good. <laughs> but yeah, all black everything, leg day in a couple of hours, gonna have a nice breakfast, in a good mood, ready to crush legs, hit a PR hopefully, get my strength up on that, and yeah. I haven't been in the Christmas mood at all this year, and I think it's because of the weather. I mean look at this, it's what, two or three days until Christmas, and it's bloody, it's like summer out there. This is Christmas Eve Eve, probably the sunniest day of the year. I think it's only snowed like once here on Christmas or around Christmas time, at least when I've been alive. <laughs> so what you'll be seeing here in these clips is what I recorded for my leg day and the majority of it is squats. And there is a reason for that and that is because I wanted to talk about my leg development and my and the progression of my squat form. Because at the moment I'm not particularly strong with squats and I only usually perform leg day once a week. Although it is written on my split to do it twice a week, I often, uh, my legs are still recovering and they're still sore. So rather than stop the process of growth and repairing of the muscle, I usually stick to just doing it once in a week, which is usually going to be on a Wednesday. But yeah, these clips you'll see here is me. Starting with no weight, warming up, stretching the legs, uh, getting my bum up very close to the floor, arse to grass, you know what they say. Uh, yeah, warming up, gradually adding weight from that point on. Also, you'll see me do like a no-handed squat with a barbell as well, which is quite fun. You should try that out. A, a way of controlling your balance a little bit. Yeah, so after that, worked my way up gradually to, se to 70 kilograms, which isn't particularly heavy, but... It was heavy enough for me to go below parallel with my quads. So if you notice my quads uh, parallel or even lower to the floor when I'm on the negative part of the movement. So when I reach the lower part of the squat. And yeah, doing slow controlled reps while still trying to keep a decent momentum and trying to lift as heavy as I could. I probably could have done a little bit heavier, but I didn't want to jeopardize, jeopardize my form too much. By adding another five plate or something, so decided to stick with 74 is a pretty good round number. So it was a good leg workout. I did a lot of sets of squats. If you include the warm ups as well, I probably did like a good eight sets. So I was really tired by the end of that. And then my leg routine at the moment, if any of you are wondering, is five sets of squats. I usually train in anywhere from three to eight reps because I'm more interested in trying to. Uh, improve my strength on those because they're fairly weak as strength goes when it comes to my legs and I really want to get higher numbers on the bar when it comes to doing squats so yeah I do five sets of five with the squats I then usually move on to something for quads again which I've started to incorporate front squats which targets the kind of teardrop part of the quadricep from the legs so I've enjoyed doing that, and that's three sets of uh, 10 to 12 reps of those, going for more hypertrophy kind of training. And then after that, going to hamstrings, usually doing stiff-legged deadlifts, which you'll actually see in the video uh, a couple of clips later. And then to finish off with the workout, I do 
anywhere from three to five sets of cartilage because typically I want to do a lot of volume with that because they seem to be the hardest thing to grow for anyone when it comes to leg development. So altogether usually about four exercises but each of them having quite a lot of sets and by the end of the workout each part of my legs usually obliterated from either the squats, the front squats or leg extensions if I feel like they're nose as my second exercise. That's my leg routine at the moment and hopefully this upcoming year I'm going to grow my legs as much as I can and put some more weight on that bar and get the PRs going up with the squats. So yeah, I'd, I'd recommend adding a lot of volume to your leg day and kind of separating your leg day from any other kind of muscles. You know, don't pair it up with something like chest because you're going to be way too exhausted to do two big muscle groups like that. You could add abs onto the end of it, which most people do, but currently I'm only focused on legs and just getting a lot of volume in, proper tiring out my legs, and forcing those babies to grow. So I'd also like to point out a quick tip when it comes to doing calves, because there's actually uh, three muscles with the calf muscle group, so depending on how you place your feet, you can target different areas of your uh, calves like you would with any kind of muscle group. So if you stand your feet with kind of in a tr triangle kind of shape when you're doing calf raises, it's going to do the outer part of your calf, so the bit that's typically smaller and higher up on the calf that sticks out to the side slightly. And then as for the longer head that you can kind of see in this clip, although I haven't got the best calves ever, but <laughs> just try and focus on that. Uh, just doing neutral stance like that where your feet are pointing to the wall straight forwards. And also, if you do the exact opposite of the first thing that I said, so point your feet in a triangle the opposite way and stand kind of with your feet wider apart with your toes pointing away from each other, that's again going to do the longer head of the calf. Also, another tip, this mainly applies to doing the neutral kind of stance with calves, but make sure that you're standing on the ball part of your foot rather than your toes and pushing your weight up through that part, not bending your toes at all, leaving your toes completely relaxed on the foot and just standing with the ball part of your foot uh, on the surface that you're doing the calf raise on and focusing on the mind-muscle connection with that and pushing up through there and that being your force of motion. So that was my leg day video there and I hope you enjoy the rest of the clips. So I just finished up the leg workout and now I'm just going to head down to petrol station and obviously get some petrol, uh, pick up a few other things and then I will go, go get my girlfriend Jasmine and I think what we're going to be doing for today is we're actually going to be having a Star Wars movie marathon so she's never actually seen them which I don't believe, you know I don't think I might watch Star Wars but anyway the new ones come out, The Force Awakens I think it's called so we both want to see it even though she's never seen the others. She wants to see what it's like because everyone's watching it, obviously, it's a very popular film. So yeah, we're going to have like a movie marathon today, probably watch three or four of the previous films. And then the Boxing Day or something, do the same thing and then go see the new one uh, fairly soon, in the next week or two. So that's what's happening at the moment. For a little midnight snack, I just got some Fusilli pasta, no, penne pasta, I think it is, and uh, two cans of tuna in brine. But I've, I've sieved the brine out, so it's just like raw tuna. It doesn't taste pretty salty like it usually would. And now I'm just gonna add some mayo if I can find it. This isn't super low calorie mayo either. It's actually quite high in fat, but. Uh, makes this meal taste nice, and I would definitely recommend having this meal if you're finding, if you're trying to find something that's pretty cheap, pretty easy, and you can kind of throw it together all at once. So this is just tuna, pasta, and then mayo to add some taste. You can also put some sweet corn in there as well if you just want to add a bit of a kind of sweet, juicy taste from the sweet corn, and it's obviously a little bit healthier as well. So this meal here is, I think, 60 or 70 grams of protein with the tuna and the pasta and then with the pasta that brings the carbs up to 
probably about 100 carbs, so perfect meal. And right now it's almost nine, so best time to have this last meal of the day. Well, guys, just finished up work, and I'm now heading home to first of all eat. And I might actually stop off at Tesco and get a white monster because although today is meant to be a rest day because it's Sunday. Sorry, I had to pull out the junction there. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm gonna get a monster right before I go home because although today's a rest day, I do actually want to do shoulders. I don't know, I just feel like they weren't worked enough this weekend with Christmas and everything. Yeah food and I don't know, I just feel like working my shoulders again so I'm gonna do a full shoulder workout uh, just a nice quick workout and yeah and then probably chill for the rest of the day edit a little bit look what happened to the water that I took to work there's a freezer at work that all the bread and stuff stored in and I've left my drink in there hoping it'd go a bit slushy but I left it in there for like the entire shift of eight hours so <laughs> When I just got out now, it's rock hard, so I'm gonna have to let that melt a little bit. But when it's melted, it'll be very nice as like a pre workout kind of uh, mixer. So, also kind of relevant to training. Yesterday, I actually went out and got a new pair of shoes, uh, not just for training, but primarily for deadlifts if I was going to use them for training. I went out and got Converse, so yeah, I've got some black Converse now, which I'm gonna start using for deadlifts and maybe squats because they're flat-footed and that seems to be the best kind of shoe after wearing no shoe so I'm gonna give those a go on Wednesday or Tuesday sorry hi guys I'd first of all like to say sorry for the kind of big gap between days of recording because as you would have seen I recorded on Christmas Eve Eve and then uh, the day after Boxing Day so it's quite a big gap but it's Christmas, so I was obviously spending a lot of time with family, and I didn't have time to record. And also didn't really have much fitness-related kind of content to put into the videos, other than the massive Christmas dinner. And on that note, actually, I really hope that all of you had a nice Christmas, and also are looking forward to the new year, and have a good time on New Year's Eve. And hopefully didn't get too fat over Christmas with all the food and all the cakes. Because <laughs> I have to admit, I went a bit overboard with the banoffee pie and whatnot, but... Getting back into the gym, burning off that weird Christmas turkey belly, <laughs> and yeah, getting back into things. But yeah, in the gym again, uh, Sunday did a full shoulder workout, hitting every single head of the shoulders, so the front, the rear, and the lateral, this side delt. So in total, I did five exercises, first being the dumbbell overhead press, then going on to the front raises with the dumbbells, and then lateral raises, and then finally I did uh, bent over rear delt, so that's four exercises, but did a lot of volume, did high reps, uh, a lot of sets for each exercise, and although I wasn't meant to work out on Sunday, I have to admit it was quite a good workout, but I, <coughs> but I know that I need to kind of stay on track with my split and try to uh, do things that they're written out rather than kind of have these random days where I'm doing the random muscle group or I'm training something again for whatever reason but nonetheless had a good shoulder workout and I'm gradually seeing more and more development with my shoulders so I'm going to continue doing the split that I've got laid out and hopefully similar to my legs see a lot of improvements with shoulders because as well as chest and legs that's probably another thing that I really want to grow out more <laughs> 